What's going on guys? I'm Chris and this is Regular Guy Training. So, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Um, I just moved into a new house. I just found out that I'm having a boy for a first child. Um, the hurricane came and that kind of fucked with my family a bunch down south. So they ended up staying here for a little while. So, a lot has went down. Uh, additionally, um, people have continued to lose their minds as far as the Western world is concerned. Um, okay, look, so here's the thing. Um, ordinarily, I would sit here and, uh, like, I had, I've already shot this about three times, and I wanted to be all happy and stuff about it, and I wanted to make it, like, a joke, and I'm, I wanted to make it funny and that type of stuff. Because in all, in all reality, a lot of it really is a huge joke. A lot of it is just ridiculousness. And of that stuff that I'm referring to, um, I'm referring to the recently labeled... Uh, um, well, the recently labeled as a uh, domestic terrorist organization... Um, it's a bun It's a group of people that call themselves Antifa. It stands for anti-fascist. They are essentially a bunch of spoiled, non-working class, um, overprivileged children that are still spending their parents' dime, have picked up useless degrees at their universities, and have done their very best to lash out at the man for not providing them a proper job, even though everything that they studied was not STEM field in any way, and is essentially on a professional level unequivalent to underwater basket weaving uh, while hula hooping as a skill. So... The big thing here is that, look, what I'm really getting at all of this in, in, and why I'm actually kind of concerned is where the state of mind is for a lot of people that are my age currently or really close to it, right? Um, I was born in 1990, and I know that there's a significant number of you that were born um, quite a bit before then. But the reason why that is significant to this video is that I grew up um, during the self-esteem movement. Were it not for my parents, I would not think the way that I do now. I would probably think like these people do. And I would not be anywhere near as well off as I am currently. Um, so... That's the thing, is that, like, I grew up during a time where no one was allowed to tell you that you failed. No one was allowed to tell you anything other than you're special, right? Um, my parents were having none of that, right? Um, my mom grew up in Vietnam, and she fled Saigon uh, when America did, right? fleeing from the communists. My dad grew up in a family that was in uh, St. Clair, Michigan, and that whole family is very, very deeply rooted in hard work and, and all of that. So I was not sheltered from failure, right? And I personally believe that if my parents bought into this whole self-esteem movement thing, um, I would probably not be living in a house right now. I would probably not own my own company. I would probably not have the drive to deal with you fucking troglodytes in the comment section. Um... I would have just found, I would have more than likely just found, found a way to blame the system for my failures. And that's really what all these children are doing. But 
here's the issue and here's the problem that presents a larger problem to you, like the guy watching. Um, their ideology, their little cults are failing, right? Their worldview is being shattered by the fact that no one fucking cares about their, quote, struggle, okay? And this includes people like Antifa, um, BAM, by any means necessary, the Black Lives Matter movement. Like, this is being very... Th these are all people crying oppression when there's none in the Western world. There's none. Okay, there's individual, there's individual acts of assholes doing asshole things. But there's no oppression in the Western world. Like, none. So, when they are faced with this problem, because my entire generation as they were growing up grew up into a victim complex. It can't be me. It has to be the rest of the world. So, as their ideology starts to crumble around them, okay, and as they're starting to understand that the world doesn't give a shit about their little concerns because everyone else in the world has their own shit to do, their own bills to pay, and they're not putting up with it. Um, what we will probably see a little bit of is that they will probably get worse. Okay. Now, the vast majority of these people are absolutely soft. You can look up all kinds of stuff on the internet about a bunch of Antifa people trying to silence a guy one of them will hit him, and that dude will beat the absolute shit out of that one person. Rightfully so, by the way. And other people will start to get in there, but then back off because they're like, Oh, that guy is not putting up with our bullshit today. So, here's the thing, though. While the vast majority of them are that way, there are some that are just looking for an excuse to hurt people and to break things and... That is a problem. That's a problem for everyday safety. Okay. For those of you who are watching this video and stuff like that and live in a metropolitan area. Okay. Like I used to live in Tampa. Right. Um, you know, I lived in Miami for a short time. Um, I lived a few different places. And, you know, when stuff like this reaches places like that, when... You know, you have people that have to deal with these absolute crybabies. That's all they are. They're petulant little children. But when you have to deal with this stuff and what happens when a two-year-old tries to make a scene about something and then you tell it that you don't care about its little problems, it throws a temper tantrum. So what I would say is that, you know, protect yourself be wise, pay attention. And I know that a lot of you that are paying attention to the news and that live in these areas already know these things. But for those of you who have not yet encountered this or think of it as like a foreign um, entity, remember that crazy tends to find quiet and then molest it. You see what I'm saying? So pay very close attention to the intent of people around you. Um, people walking around dressed in black with black masks and stuff like that, those people are never out to do good things. So pay very close attention to these people. By all means, laugh at them. By all means, point laugh at the absolute stupidity, the absolute stupidity behind their little ideology, but watch their hands and pay attention. All right? So, remember, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.